work is 20 by 200 bananas and 1000 bananas in w1 by w2 200 bananas by 1000 bananas is equal to here m1 is 10 into 5 by here manpower is i don't know that here m2 into 10 okay so here 10 10 cancel bananas bananas cancel double zero double zero cancel so you can get the answer as m2 is equal to here 10 into 5 50 50 by 2 25 you can get the answer in some other way if 10 monkeys can eat 200 bananas in five days okay so one monkey is one day that means here when you identify one monkey eaten bananas for one day it can easily get the answer okay so here 200 bananas were completed in one day uh, five days in one day it can five fours 40 bananas that means 10 monkeys can eat 40 bananas in one day right so one monkey can eat four bananas in one day okay one monkey four bananas okay when you get this one here one monkey can eat four bananas in one day okay then how many monkeys can eat thousand bananas in here how many days 10 days okay thousand bananas in 10 days that means in one day we should have to complete how many bananas 100 bananas to complete 100 bananas how many monkeys are required 25 one monkey can eat four bananas in one day that means how many monkeys can eat 100 bananas same unitary method i had already discussed that one monkey can eat four bananas in one day okay 100 bananas can be eaten by how many monkeys 100 by 4 monkeys that is 25 monkeys by using the chain rule by using the unitary method chain rule is nothing but the unitary method you can get the answer in these two ways when you look at this one i had discussed at here work is directly proportional to man work is directly proportional to days work is directly proportional to time work is directly proportional to man days and time that's why w1 by w2 you can solve the problem by using the unitary method also that is one day work of a monkey one day work of a, mon a monkey then here one day work here is we should have to complete is 100 bananas one monkey can eat four bananas in one day then 100 bananas was completed in how many monkeys completed by how many monkeys 25 so 100 by 4 that is 25 monkeys is the answer you can get the answer by the formula or by unitary method or the chain rule okay and uh, let's have a discussion on inverse relation also when you look at here inverse ratio is nothing but the change in the first quantity leads to the change in the another quantity in the inverse relation that means if the first quantity decreases second quantity increases if the first quantity increases second quantity decreases there is an inverse relation between the first and the second quantity here the best example for using in the time and distance is speed is inversely related to time inversely is indicated as like this okay so speed is inversely related to time that's why here it is um, when you combine these two you can get speed is directly proportional to distance by time that's why speed is equal to distance by time speed is nothing but distance traveled per unit of time distance traveled per unit of time okay 50 kilometers was traveled for one hour 50 kilometers was traveled in one minute okay distance traveled per unit of time is nothing but the speed we will discuss it in the time and distance also okay and coming to the combined proportion sorry continued proportion continued proportion was in suppose for example if a is to b is equal to b is to c then a b c are in continued proportion okay 
in a is to b is equal to b is to c is equal to c is to d then a b c and d are said to be in continued proportion okay that means here the condition is the ratio of, if the ratio of if the ratio of first to second okay is equal to second to third is equal to third to fourth and so on proportionals are equal okay then those proportionals are said to be in continued proportion okay this is only for the format he, he didn't give the questions based upon this uh, when look into this uh, mean proportion he gives the question from this model okay mean proportion that means take the mean portion as the same suppose in the case of a is to b is equal to b is to c this is the mean proportion okay so take the same one so you can get b square is equal to product of x is equal to product of mean so you can get ac so b is equal to what square root of ac okay this means the square root of product of extremes is nothing but the mean proportion square root of product of extremes that's why we will discuss the square roots also here square roots we are also discussing the square roots right now for doing the problems based upon that suppose for example what is the mean proportional between 32 and 2 what is the mean proportional between 32 and 2 okay here what is the mean proportional square root of 32 into 2 you can get square root of 64 so the answer is 8 am i clear so by this way we can conclude the answers we will discuss the square roots right now am i clear in these models clear everybody okay and uh, let's have a discussion on the square roots and we will discuss the problems in the next continued session okay square roots when you look at this one uh, square roots is the most important one for doing the mean proportional problems not only the mean proportionals in board mass also we can use that models for the simplifications okay square roots look at here i will give the base for you first first of all okay suppose square root of 25 square root of 25 square root of 625 square root of 1225 square root of here it is uh, 0 0.0064 okay and uh, and then next we will discuss the some other models here only two conditions must be satisfied that is you must use the only the 0 to 9 digits first step you must use the 0 to 9 digits only while you using the divisor and the quotient positions we are here it is the square root division model in square root division model in divisor and the quotient positions you must use only the up to 0 to 9 digits okay and you must use the squares only okay so here one square here first of all you should you should have to write the um, segregation of the units here to the from the right side that is two two digits must be taken as one unit from the right side okay here one digit is placed so one one digit itself is treated as one unit and here one unit okay so here one ones one two twos four three threes nine four four sixteen five fives twenty five exactly it is divisible so five fives twenty five reminder zero so then what is the square root for twenty five five then what is the square root for six twenty five here the first unit is six so you must have to take the number that was really nearest to or equal to six so two twos one ones one two twos four three threes nine 9 exceeds the 6 that means i am using the only the squares not other than the squares okay 2 3 6 in general division but in square root division you must place only the if you place 2 here you must place 2 here 
okay but here 2 to 4 3 3 is 9 9 x is 6 so i am using only 2 to 4 here and 6 minus 4 2 and bring down the next unit but not next digit bring down the next unit but not next digit in general division we can get the next digit but in square root division we can get the next unit here 2 plus 2 is equal to what 4 here plus 2 is nothing but the addition to the previous divisor addition of the divisor addition of previous quotient to the previous divisor here plus 2 is nothing but addition to previous quotient to the previous divisor okay and when you place any number at the right side of this 4 you must place the same number at the right side of this number and you should have to multiply with this number to this total number you should have to get this one 225 or less than 225 okay okay when you place any number at the right side of 4 what is the place value of 4 place value okay here what is the place value 4 40 okay place value of 4 i am asking you no, not at all the place value i am asking the place value of 4 so that means here it is a tens place so 4 into 10 40 is the place value of 4 40 into something nearest to 200 is 5 45 okay when you place 5 here you must place the same number here 45 200 5 5 25 200 plus 25 what 225 okay so you can get the answer 25 as square root i am repeating this process okay here in first unit you can get the 6 so 2 2 4 here 6 minus 4 2 okay add the previous quotient to the previous divisor to get the next divisor 4 when you place any number at the right side of this one you must place the same number here and you should have to multiply with this number to this uh, quotient uh, to this divisor that means new divisor and you can get the dividend okay this is the divisor dividend and the quotient okay so you can get the answer as 25 by the same way 1225 1225 when you identify this one 111 2 2 4 3 3 is 9 4 4 16 16 exceeds 12 so you must take only up to 3 3 is 9 here 12 minus 9 okay 12 minus 9 what 3 and bring down the next unit 25 and the next step is add the previous quotient to the previous divisor okay you can get the next divisor 3 plus 3 what 6 when you place any number at the right side of 6 you must place the same number at the right side of this one okay so you can get the answer so what is the place value of 6 here 60 60 into something nearest to 325 is very good 65 5 65 so what 300 okay and 5 5 is 25 so 325 so you can get the answer as yes, 35 for the square root of 1225 am i clear to you right and coming to this one uh, decimal one okay for the decimal division you must take only the two two digits as one unit after the decimal you must take only two two digits as one unit okay suppose for example uh, 0 0.064 okay while segregating this one you must place at the zero at the last portion and you must segregate this one to two two digits as one unit and before the decimal you must place to the right side two two digits as one unit otherwise you must take one unit if you have less than two digit before the decimal am i clear so while calculating this one you must take zero zeros zero okay and bring down the next unit it causes the decimal that's why i am placing the decimal add the previous quotient to the previous divisor you can get the next divisor again zero zeros zero okay and bring down the next unit 64 add the previous quotient to the previous divisor to get the next divisor zero okay and then next eight eights are 64 you can get zero so what is the square root of 0 0.0064 yes 0 0.08 by the same way here 0 0 0 it causes the decimal that's why i place a decimal there and bring down the next unit 6 
add the previous quotient to the previous divisor to get the next divisor. Okay, here it is six, so that's why I'm taking the totals four here. Okay, two and bring down the next unit forty. Add the previous quotient to the previous divisor, you can get the next divisor. 4. When you place any number at the right side of 4, what the place value of 4? 40. 40 into something nearest to 240 is 46 at 240. Okay. But when you place 6 here, when you should have to multiply with 6. Okay. 46 at 240, 66 at 36. Okay. That means that value is 276. That is more than 240. So you should have to take only up to 5 here. 45 and 5 5. That means 225. Okay, 5 and 1. Okay, if the digits was closed, touches the decimal, you can get double zero in square root division. Okay, when you touches the decimal or when you place the zero, you can get the again double zeros. Okay, so I touches the decimal and you can get the double zeros and add the previous quotient to the previous divisor, you can get the next divisor 50. Okay, for continuing purpose. So here 50, when you place any number at the right side of this one, you must place the same number at this side. Here, what is the place value of 5? When you place any number at this side, 500. Okay, so 500 into something nearest to 1500 is 500 threes. But 500 threes, 1500 and again 3 threes 9. What about the 9? So you must take only up to 2s. 500 twos, thousand and two twos, four. One double zero, four. Am I clear to all? So, by this way, we can conclude the answers and so on like this. So, this is 0 0.25, 2 and so on. Okay. While calculating the mean proportions, we are using the square roots procedure. Okay. Suppose, another way of uh, this one, when you are aware of the square roots, Okay, suppose for example, here 625, at last portion ends with a 5. So that means, that means here it is the 5 square root. Okay, and previous tens place digit is 2 into 2. So 2 and the next succeeding number, 2, 3 is 6. If 6 is equal to 6, if the next number, that means tens place, hundreds place number, hundreds place digit is more than the tens digit into succeeding, succeeding digit, then the answer is the next one. Okay, that means, so next one is the answer. Suppose for example, here it is 2, 3, 6, 6 equal to 6. So answer is, uh, here is 25. Okay, so another way, 1, 2, 2, 5. 1, 2, 2, 5. Here it is 5. Okay, here it is uh, 12. So when you multiply 2, 3, 6, 6 is more than 12. Okay, so 3, 4. Am I clear? Right. By this way, it is easy to identify the square roots. Okay. For any number, we can get the answers. Okay. And we will discuss the problems in the coming session.